the one, the only, Ben Sion. Good afternoon and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian with Ben Sion. Today we're learning Masechus Kittim Davches, number eight. Talks about one of the more controversial mitzvahs in the Torah, at least nowadays it's a very controversial mitzvah. And the mitzvah is Yishev Eretzer, living in Israel. It's a machlo, famous machlo, to the Rambam and the Ramban. The Rambam seems to say there's no mitzvah of living in Eretzer. He counts all the mitzvahs. It's not mentioned a mitzvah of living in Israel. The Ramban argues on it. He has about 10 mitzvahs that he believes the Rambam left out. There's only 613 mitzvahs, but one of them is Yishev Eretzer Israel. And one of the main sources for that mitzvah, besides all the Gemaras and Ksubos, and then the Ksubos, which talk about that someone who lives outside of the child is like, doesn't have a god, and you're not allowed to, you know, basically, you can, if your wife wants to leave Israel, you know, you can you can garage her without a get, things like that. There's a mitzvah, it's clear, the mitzvah of living in Israel. Here the Gemara repeats that again. The Gemara says an interesting halacha over here that not just in Eretz Israel, but if you buy a house in Syria, which is technically outside of Eretz Israel, Midra Bona, and there's halacha of Shumas and Maishos, maybe. Um, but you're allowed to buy the house on Shabbos and tell a non-Jew to write uh, a document proving that the house belongs to you. A deed, uh, a shtar mecher, a document that says that you bought the house for proof of purchase. You're allowed to write that on it. We just say, don't wait till Sunday. Do it on Shabbos and do Amir La'akum. Now, Amir La'akum is Asr Midr Abbanah. But the Gemara says, even though it's Asr Midr Abbanah Shavos, Mishum Yishav Yisrael, the Gazer Abbanah, the goes there because Yishav Yisrael. Now you could say, according to the Rambam, he would read this Gemara, Yishav Yisrael. It's a nice thing. It's important that we should have Eretz Yisrael. So therefore, purchase houses over there. But if you look at Tosos, Tosos Kuli says, the first words of Tosos, Af al Gav, Aval Mishum Mitzvah Cheres Lo, Hainu Matir Namir Lo Ovek Chav Malacha Da Raisa. This is the only time Tosos says for a mitzvah. So it's clear from Tosos, it's a mitzvah, right? He calls it a mitzvah. Presumably, it's a mitzvah Da Raisa. He says, even by Mila, Mila is one of the more stringent mitzvahs of essay. Mila and, and Pesach, you would think those are the greatest mitzvahs of essay in the Torah. From the, from the punishment, if you don't get a bris Mila, or you don't bring a karma base, you're chayef kari. There's no other mitzvahs of essay like that. But he proves in Lorna Erevin that Amir La'akum is not allowed to do a bris Mila. If a bris Mila falls down on Shabbos, you're not allowed to do a malacha del Raisa through asking a non Jew to do it for you. But for Yishev Yisrael, he clearly goes on a mitzvah. So it's not just the Ramban who says it's a mitzvah. You have Tosin says it's a mitzvah. And, and first of all, the Gemara seems to say it's a mitzvah. What else is it? I mean, what is it? It's a nice idea, Yishev Yisrael. So it's clear from Tosin. It's clear from the Ramban. It's a mitzvah of Yishev Yisrael. And even further proof to this is the Gemara is not even talking about Yisrael. The, the Gemara is talking about buying in Syria. If you buy in Syria, it's like buying in the suburbs of Jerusalem. Tell Stone where I live, the suburbs of Jerusalem. It's like buying the suburbs of Jerusalem, right? Just like in the suburbs of Jerusalem, you're allowed to buy on Shabbos and do Amir La'akum to make sure you get the house right away, get the property right away, belongs to Jewish people. Even in Syria. Now, Syria is not part of Eretz Yisrael. So what, what's the mitzvah of Yishev Eretz Yisrael? It goes to show you that the mitzvah of Yishev Eretz Yisrael, people think it means to live in Israel. That's not what the mitzvah of living in Israel really is. I mean, it's part of the mitzvah. The more people that go and make Aliyah and move to Israel, are furthering the mitzvah of Yishev Yisrael. They're being part of Yishev Yisrael. But I really believe, you know, people in this sector where I'm from, they are strongly anti-Zionist, and they don't believe in Zionism and the state of Israel. Some people don't believe in it because, some people, it's questionable what Zionism actually means. You know, some people say Zionism is, you know, basically the next step closer to bringing Mashiach. And people in my community would say, no, why is that any proof? You know, there's no reason to celebrate Independence Day, to say Yom Ha'atzma'ut, to say Halal. Some, some Datilumi congregation, modern Orthodox, say Halal. Some say with a bracha. I don't believe you should say Halal at all because, you know, there will be built the first base on Migdash and the second base on Migdash. They say Halal? No, we never said Halal based on that. You know, we don't have the base on Migdash now. So it's definitely not, it doesn't warrant to say Halal. But I believe that the idea of Zionism is. To have some to say Zionism is to have a place for Jews to always go if they get thrown out of other countries. If it's dangerous in other countries, they always have a Jewish country to go to to be safe in. What I view Zionism is not neither of those two approaches. Zionism, I believe, is 
to have a state of Israel is to protect the Jewish heritage. Not halachic Judaism per se, but a Jewish heritage. You know, every country has some sort of heritage, that religious heritage, that it subscribes to. America is basically a Christian country. You know, they celebrate Christmas, they celebrate New Year's, they give those days off. You don't have to observe Christianity. You're not persecuted with the freedom of religion. But essentially, it's a Christian country. Most of the people who live there, religious people who live there, are Christians, evangelicals, Protestants. That's really what it was. You know, there's a lot of countries that are Muslim, Muslim countries. They even incorporate some Islam laws into their actual, you know, criminal laws in the country. So there's a lot of countries, some are more secular, but every country has, you know, a heritage, some religious heritage that it protects. And there's no other country besides Israel that protects the Jewish heritage. That's what's important about having a state of Israel that protects the Jewish heritage. Now, the midst of Yishevari and Yisrael basically is Zionism to form a state where you're protected, where, where Jews can live. Jews can live, and it'll remain a Jewish country. Some say that it should be for safety of Jews. Other, what I'm saying is for the heritage of Judaism. But the point is to have a place where it's free and easy to come and live. And that's why even in Syria, right? Because Syria is on the border of Israel. If you buy a house in Syria, there's more Jews in Syria. So that protects the boundaries of Israel, widens the boundaries of Israel. It makes, you know, it makes it easier to fortify Israel and to make it safe to live into and to, you know, fight from the enemies of Israel. They shouldn't attack us and we should be able to stay here in Israel. And that's what the Mishra of Israel is. That to live. You know, and it, people say, um, who is these people? Uh, Karta. They say, give the land back to the Arabs. Give the land back to the Arabs. Because the mitzvah of Yishev Israel is just living in the land of Israel. This is the land of Israel. You live in Jerusalem. It's a totally Muslim country. You live in... No, it's not called Dirat Eretz Israel. It's not called Yeshivat Eretz Israel. It's called Yishuv Eretz Israel. That Eretz Israel should be a, 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 a hospitable place for Jews. It should be a place where it's easy to come, easy to go to. And every person that makes Aliyah and and builds a house here in Israel. You know, if you come on vacation, you're not fully mitzvah of Yishev Israel. You come here for for, um, for for seminary or to learn in Yeshiva for a couple of days, you go back. That's not Yishev Israel. Yishev Israel is building a house and living in Israel presently because every Jewish person that lives here makes it a stronger Jewish country. It fortifies the country from enemies. So it's important to realize that's what the mitzvah of Yishev Israel is. Because you see in the Syria, there's a mitzvah securing the boundaries of Israel, Yishev Israel. So, yes, there is a clear mitzvah. I don't know why the Rambam leaves it out. I'm not sure why. The, maybe the mitzvah of Yishev Israel is incorporated in a different mitzvah because there is a mitzvah. Hold on a second. <clears throat> there is a mitzvah, even the Rambam agrees, in the time of Yeshua to go ahead and conquer the seven Hi. nations of Eretz Canaan. To yes. conquer those nations, there's a mitzvah of, of Kibush V'chiluk Eretz Yisrael. In the time of Yoshua, that was definitely a mitzvah according to the Rambam. And that's the same part of the same mitzvah. So I think even the Rambam agrees is a mitzvah to protect the land of Israel. It's not just living here in Israel. I mean, you, it used to be when, even when the Rabban came here to Israel, it, it was, you know, an Ottoman Empire. Uh, it was on. It was my Turkey. I don't remember who when he was living in the 1200s. I don't know Spain or um, the Ottomans lived there. The Ottomans lived there. So, so, you know, when you just live in Eretz Israel, it's not a Jewish state. So, it's not a Jewish state. So, um, it's not fortified as a place that Jews can go to and protect the Jewish heritage. So. Only when it, you have Zionism, when you have a statehood of Israel, that's the mitzvah of Yishai is Israel, and that's the only time it applies. And now it applies. You should make Aliyah. There's no excuse. Just like any other mitzvah, it's, you should do the mitzvah. You have to do all the 630 mitzvahs. You have to move to Israel. There's no, there's no questions over it. you got to move. There's no excuses. You know, I don't know any rabbonim that say that it's okay. It's not okay. You know, the people that make Aliyah are mostly from Datilami, modern Orthodox background because of Zionistic purposes, you know, you go and and there are Haredi people who are, who believe strongly in the mitzvah of Yisrael as well. But you go to let's say Lakewood, they'll tell you never. You don't have to make it all. Yeah, how could it be a suffix, It's it's more than a subject that rises. Moldy John you have to live in Israel. You have to fortify and live in Israel. How could you be make a lot on this? You're machmer all the kashras. How all all the different simoni kashras, you know, all the different hechsherim, the most machmer hechsher. How could you make a lot on a subject that rises? A ruba, a rova of Rishonim hold. And you have to live in Israel. I don't know how people are making. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.